Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksum. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe for future content. Renfamous and her little horde of demons have not stopped harassing that umbrella guy. It's been going on now for five days. Yeah, coming up upon up now onto the fifth, onto the sixth day now, and it's just getting way too much now. What they're doing is, they're still trying to do damage control themselves. But what we're going to be doing, I've got a few things here from that Umbrella Guy's Twitter. And we'll just be going through a few of them now. So, one of the first things is this one. The worst part is this, that I, I had to remove my Twitter from 2017 to yesterday. Not solely because of mass flagging, but because I may have uploaded something with a glimpse of my child on it. And for that, they would punish her and their lackeys would find a way to say it's fine. So what happened? Tug had to delete two years worth of stuff on his Twitter. And again, all these people then, they started saying he'd done it on purpose because he was going to get flagged for stuff he said in the past and so forth. But that's not the case. The case is that on the Renfamous's little shoulders, there's someone called SJW Spider-Man. And he's made it his uh, task to go through everything that Tug has done for the last couple of years, and he's been false flagging. Yes, you heard that right. They've been trying to get Tug banned on Twitter, and they've gone into his past trying to dug something up. And I think someone did, but... Not Doug, Dig, sorry. It's a little bit later, you know. But that just goes to show that these people have nothing better to do than to cause some kind of trouble and they think it's fine. It's absolutely disgusting that they think this is acceptable behaviour. Which is not. When you're just trying to go around and you're trying to ruin someone's life just because they have a difference of opinion. These people are absolutely disgusting and the scum of the universe. But you have another one here. Uh, so you have someone here, J.D. Weiser. Uh, they are on Red from Us' side. Helping comics and at that umbrella. And thanks for letting me know about more Nazis to march the gallows. I'll try to get your good side while you're dancing at the end of a rope. And this one is here, say, obviously, tugs in. These specimens of rational behaviour would never overly threat you or your child. It's marketing. But then that's what they've said. They've called everyone Nazi and uh, everything else. But then, you know, we're just going through a few things. And this is kind of funny. Interesting what is acceptable to these loons and what has to be attacked. On the left, there's a comic currently going in which it's called Always Punch Nazis. And in which Trump voters are noted as Nazi followers and you get instructions on how to properly assault someone. That has been backed by public uh, people and professionals. And then on the right, All Ages Adventure featuring my daughter. No, we don't like that. Again, they still try and keep going after his Indiegogo because it's a lot more successful than actual professionals doing it. But again... You know, it, it does the whole comic skate thing, and I don't want to get into that now. But it's just stupid. But this is one of my favourite ones right by here now. Yeah, I, I think it's absolutely brilliant to Tug. And I'm all with Tug. I'm behind him 100%. Marketing outrage. I spent my day at the police station and speaking to work on the insanity. I wouldn't wish on anyone because it's not pleasant or fun. This omits making 13,000, I made a rolling without any of it. But from day one, flagging. Day two, threats. Day five, sheesh. And what it is, you've got someone saying, oh, marketing outrage, that is the success of a product is dishonest. Someone is saying that all this has been fake, but it hasn't. We've got Renfamous doing tweets. Yesterday, Renfamous even came out and said, oh, whatever that Kirsty says, or Kirsty or Chrissy, I can't remember her name. Whatever they said, I can't be responsible for. So she's admitting that she knows something's happened. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry, it's not my fault. I'm not getting involved. There's just so much of this kind of stuff. Where you look at it and it's just like, what are you doing? They, 
I really don't understand their minds. They must be they must be on some type of crazy pill or something to make them feel this way. Because how can anyone justify doing this and still say, oh no, we're doing this fine. Everything we're doing is good. Everything is fine. It's not fine. It's I really don't cannot seem to grasp why why they're doing it for one. Is it because of jealousy? Is this what normal SJWs do? Because this is a perfect example of what modern SJWs are like in this world. You realise what type of world SJWs create. I cannot take a picture of my child and post a smiling face online with her waving and hugging subscribers and all because her daddy talks about discrimination, professionalism and due process. No faces, no complete names, madness. And it's true, you've got these people who are trying to attack him just because he's a good father and, well, you just got these people who just think it's good just to harass people online. These are the, these are the bullies of this world now. But, again, if they were in school, they would probably have their asses kicked because they're not tough, they're only keyboard warriors. This is how the internet has turned out, you know. It's turned people who have never been that tough or not that threatening in real life to people who, you know, literally can destroy a world just by the press of a button. It's almost like, well, yeah, a bit like a James Bond villain, if you want to see that. You know, well, yes, we've done this, but they've become, they've become the retarded cousin of Dr. Evil. And we all know how stupid Dr. Evil is. And... You know, they were going on saying that Umbrella guy, he deleted tweets. But we've got Ren in the past admitting she deleted tweets and everything else. So it goes to show that they are hypocrites for one. But when you look at it all over, and <laughs> I just can't seem to grasp how they think all this is justifiable because they're attacking someone and that someone's child. I just can't seem to think why they would do that for one. And another thing as well, they're, they're mocking that Umbrella guy's accent as well because he's from a rural area. And, you, you know, these, these are literally just nothing but a bunch of bullies. They're the Biff Tannins of this world, like, you know. And, again, if in real life, they wouldn't be like it. They would literally cower if a firework went off. That's what they're like. And... When you just, it's just ridiculous, all of it. I just look at it now and I just really feel sorry for that umbrella guy and I really hope this all gets sorted out and he does, and you know, the police are there and the police can sort all this out. Again, because this can be classed now as a crime, what they're doing, literally, they can be done for it. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell for future updates and we'll see you soon.